Yeah, I'm just not in a sitting mood. I'm in a on-the-go mood. <laughs> Do you wonder why? Yeah. You know, very proud of um, our players, and, I, and I, I'm thankful to our players. And the reason I'm thankful, and I told them this is a week of Thanksgiving, obviously, we all have those things on our mind. But you can't help but to be thankful of young people. So many of them, not all of them here, not just the people that were the tribal squad, so many young men doing exactly what you ask them to do as well as they can possibly do. And you get right down to what you want to train young folks to do is just that. Be where you're supposed to be, doing what you're supposed to be doing as well as you can possibly do it. That's our one team rule. And that means on the practice field, in the classroom, socially, and I have never been around a group of young men that have done that better. That made them champions. That part of who they are. They're good football players. We've got some better players than people might think. Some good athletes, good speed, good ball skills. Uh, with a lot of weapons. We have weapons in the kicking game. We have weapons on defense and we have weapons on offense. But all that said, the reason they're Coastal Division champions is who they are. Very appreciative of our staff and all of the support people that surround Duke football. Um, it's the best group of people, including the entire Duke football family, um, best group of people that I've been around. I'm not saying this now. I've said this, and those of you that know me, when we were three and nine. And uh, the last thing I'm going to say, and then I'll let you ask questions, I told our team this. The beauty of what this team is right now, regardless of what the results would have been today, it's a very close football game. North Carolina played very well. It could have gone either way. But regardless of the results, they still would be who they are. Don't get so caught up in the results in your life that you start doubting who you are. They would still be exactly who they are. So remain true to yourself in that regard as we move forward. We've got a big football game in Charlotte. We're honored to represent the Coastal Division. We've got a lot of good football teams in the Coastal Division, and we're very honored to be the representative in Charlotte, and we're very honored to be a part of our great conference's championship game in Charlotte. And I am expecting to see thousands upon thousands of Duke fans in Charlotte. I'm calling you out right now to take advantage of this opportunity. So with that, I'll take your question. You had a first you half you where you dominated statistically, yet they score and you need to kick off to you know, just how big a play was that to send you in the locker room in a good frame of mind? It was uh, huge, and we felt good coming in. We knew they were a great return team. A lot had been said about that. We felt like we are a great return team. You know, we got Devon, we got Jameson. We thought we could get one in one phase of the, the game and certainly got one there to kick off the turn. And the guys in the press box said it was about as pretty as you could block one. I can't wait to see that on tape, but it was a huge momentum swing in the ball. Okay, you said you weren't in a sitting mood, but I imagine that's a, a different perspective when you've got two of your players ready to hoist you up and carry you off. Yeah. What's your reaction to that, and what's the view like from up there? Well, I was glad that it was Sydney and Justin because they're both really strong. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't really want to get dropped in that mode. I was already wet. Um, it was fun. You know what I was able to see, honestly, and you're asking, it allowed me to see our parents, our players intermingling, Duke fans intermingling over in that corner. Um, I really got a great view of it. Otherwise, I, I wouldn't have. And uh, so I was appreciative of Justin and Sidney both for giving me the ride. Is that the first time you can ever remember getting a ride like that as a coach? Yeah, you know, it was pretty special. Uh, great <laughs> moment. and. Um, you know, I don't mind these Gatorade baths, you know, our equipment <laughs> people have to kind of figure out how to wander all that stuff I'm wearing, but um, Beck and those guys can handle it. Coach, your feeling um, when Devon got that interception and, and the game was over, your emotions at you that You know, the second. first thing I thought of, honestly, was how great it was. He is such a nice and good young man. How great a moment is that for him? After I was saying, get down, get down, get down, you know, he ran a little too far. I'm saying, don't be having flashbacks about scoring with it. You know? <laughs> but that's the first thing that went through my mind. You know, he, he is such a, a humble person that how great that moment must be for him. And I hadn't really gotten to talk to him. It's been chaos about it since. Um, and uh, and then certainly afterwards, I, I look, there's Scotty Montgomery, there's uh, Raekwon Boyette, Sonny Falcone, Jamar Wright, guys, Duke football players that are in our 
football family now. And I, I, I wanted to hug those guys quickly. I'm very, very happy for them. And Hap Zarzo, our longtime trainer, you know, all of these people that have, have grinded through the years with Duke football deserved a very special feeling out there on that field. How you're, much you're on the road. experiences of last year, you know, the Virginia Tech game, the Cincinnati game, not being able to close teams out, how much did that lead to the, the, the mindset that you guys have had in the fourth quarter this year? Because it really is pretty dominant. It affected our, our, our guys a year ago. Um, you know, it did during the regular season. The Cincinnati game, when I've said this numerous times, when we came back in January with our first team, team meeting, I was anxious to see if they felt like I felt. During that holiday break, I wrote and wrote and wrote about different things about our program that we needed to expand upon and improve. And our squad came back with the same intensity about the finish. Um, and it, 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 it was every day, every single day. And I tell you, Noel Durfee and the strength staff do, uh, have done an incredible job. That's where the foundations are built. Discipline, consistency, and finish. And boy, did they challenge those guys in the winter. And uh, our guys took on that challenge. And so that's what I mean when I tell you guys it's a lot of people and a lot of quality people. It's a lot of quality.